Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. For color, you can use gradient effect. So now open After Effects and start creating it. Create a new composition. Name it as Title 4. For this composition, I will set time duration to 4 seconds. Remaining all will be same. First, here we will create a new solid. This will be our background layer. You can also create shape layer. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to solid layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. For background solid layer, press S to bring up scale. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for scale. At start of the timer line, change scale value to 0%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. In graph, Make sure you are on speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now let's create a square shape box. Make sure you have not selected any layer. Select rectangle tool. In fill option, make sure fill is set to solid color. In stroke, stroke is set to none. Now create shape. In rectangle 1, in rectangle path, first, unlink the size, let's set size to 650. For X and Y. This will create a perfect square we need. Align it to the center. For shape layer 1, make sure to place anchor point to the center. Press Y key on your keyboard, now position anchor point to the center. Perfect. For shape layer 1, let's add fill. Here we will set same color, which we have set it for background. Now in effects and preset, search for drop shadow. Add it to the shape layer. For drop shadow, set distance to 50, softness to 400. Now for shape layer 1, press S to bring up scale. Add 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for scale. At 15 frames, change scale value to 0%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. For shape layer 1, press R to bring up rotation. Now at 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for rotation. At 15 frames. Change rotation value to minus 55 degrees. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Shape player is done. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Uni Sans font family, the font link is provided in the description. For this text, here I will increase the font size. Align the text to center. Now let's animate the text. For text layer, in animate, select tracking. 
in range selector 1. At 20 frames, create keyframe for offset. At 2 seconds and 20 frames, change offset value to 100%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. Now change tracking amount to minus 100. You can see the preview. For animator 1, let's add property, position. Let's adjust the position for Y axis, set it to near about 500. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Now for text layer. In effects and preset. Search for transform. Add it to the text layer. For transform, change rotation to 55 degrees. Now in effects and preset. Search for Minimax, add it to the text layer. For Minimax, change channel to, alpha and color, direction to, just vertical. Now at 2 seconds and 5 frames, create keyframe for radius. At 3 seconds, change radius, set it to near about 300. For text layer, press U to view created keyframes. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in effects and preset, search for transform. Add it to the text layer. For this transform, we will set rotation angle to minus 55 degrees. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the text layer. Here we need to set the dark tone of background color, this will reflect as shadow. In effects and preset, search for CC composite, add it to the text layer. This will show the original text layer in front. Now we need to position the shadow effects, according to the text layer. So at 2 seconds and 5 frames. For transform 2, create keyframe for anchor point. Now at 3 seconds. We need to reduce the anchor point value for Y axis. Reduce it in such a way that the shadow effects is in behind the text layer. Perfect. If you see the preview, the keyframes are not matching. Press U to view created keyframe. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. To hide the extra shadow effect. Let's create duplicate of the shape layer 1. Place the shape layer 2, above the text layer. For shape layer 2, remove all the effects added. For text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 2. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Here our title is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.
If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.